you well and welcome back to my channel and hello for anyone that is new out there my name is Ellis and I am a mum of two boys I have a three-year-old son called Clayton and I also have an adorable little baby boy called Parker who is nine months old I tend to film videos on hauls decor lifestyle home cleaning parenting motherhood you name it I kind of do a bit of everything but today I'm going to be filming for you all a Primark haul as you can probably see down here I have been shopping I recently went to Cardiff and oh my god the Cardiff Primark has five floors I was gobsmacked when I found out that Primark has five floors in Cardiff and since moving from London Primark's down in Devon are a little bit more limited they're not as big they're not as good in my opinion however that being said I didn't pick anything up in the Cardiff one in the end but I am going back next week However, I ended up in another local Primark and I managed to pick up three bags full, full of stuff. There wasn't a lot of clothes, which is what I liked about the Cardiff one, so I'm definitely going to be going back there for more clothing items. But I have a mixture of clothing and clothing, beauty, home and baby boy stuff. So I'm going to jump right in and show you what I got. Okay, so I'm going to start off with this big bag here first. This tends to have a lot of the items that I've got that are clothing related in. So I'm going to jump straight in and show you what I got. And to start with, I only got a couple of pieces, but I'm going to show you the stuff that I got for Baby Parker. So the first thing that I got is this two-piece set here. Is this tracksuit, which I think is absolutely adorable. It says dude, and it's in a khaki print. And I've been really loving the khaki print recently. And kind of like the camouflage print. And then you've got these bottoms here. They're cuffed bottoms, which I absolutely love. Because I hate anything that kind of falls over their arms and legs. And it says dude on the front. This is a two-piece set. I got it in nine to 12 months. Because Parker is nine months now. And growing out of all of his six to nine month stuff. And this was eight pound. And this really does remind me of something that I would have gotten from River Island previously. So I was really, really happy with that. And I'm definitely going to have Parker in that soon. And then the next few bits that I got were just some basic pieces. So I got these. They're seven short sleeve bodysuits. Again, Parker seems to be kind of going through a lot of body suits at the moment. We're having a lot of accidents, should we say. He's had a very poorly tummy from um, teething and I didn't keep a lot of his other brothers either because as soon as they get dirty and grubby I just chuck them. I don't really keep dirty grubby body suits because they're not that expensive. So there's seven in here. So they were a pound each. They're just in blue and white and they were seven pounds. And then following on from that I've got these ones. These ones are more crocodile themed. They say cool vibes, paradise. All that is such a little awesome guy, good vibes. And they're just more like multicolored. And again, seven for seven pounds, so you can't really go wrong. And lastly, I picked up these socks for Clayton. They're just the black seven pairs of cotton rich, rich socks in age three to six, um, size nine to 12 feet. They're just perfect, really. There's not much to them. Um, they're just socks. They were two pound 30 for seven pairs exactly what you need for preschool and just everyday life really there's not much i can say about socks next up i got some pajamas for myself and i loved these pajamas i've seen them a couple of times now and i thought i'd pick them up again so the first thing that i got was this little cami top here like this i like my pajamas really big and oversized so i got this in an size 14 to 16 so that it's not too tight i'm not quite sure whether it might be a little bit too big so i am gonna have to try it on um but i got that which i thought was really adorable and then to go with them the matching shorts which again i like them really really oversized and looking at them i definitely didn't mean to pick up this size i picked up the extra large which is size 18 to 20 so i think i'm gonna have to bring them back because there's no way in how they're gonna stand up on me and i don't think yeah that isn't even an elasticated like pull string band normally they are but that's just elasticated on that bit which means they're gonna be too big so they are gonna have to go back and i'm gonna have to get another size but i absolutely loved those i thought they were really cute for the summer and we are going away next month so they're gonna be perfect for holiday and if you were wondering the shorts were four pounds and the top was four pounds also so eight pounds for a really cute set i absolutely love it can't go wrong and next I picked up this top. I first saw it on Lucy Jessica Carter's haul that she did a couple of weeks ago. I went to pick it up multiple times and every time I picked it up, I put it back down. They were either grubby or dirty. I picked it up in a size 16. Again, I'm thinking it might be too big um, because I have lost weight recently and I'm also thinking that 
it's just gonna be a bit too big but i do like my clothes oversized that is the one thing if you notice i always wear baggy jumpers i never really wear anything that's too tight fitting um so it might be okay but i have a feeling it might be a bit too big but it's 12 pounds and yeah i really really like that and to be honest with you i think i may have just bought everything a bit too big i bought these shorts these shorts i bought them in a size 14 they're high-waisted shorts and i don't really wear bottoms from primark so i don't know how they're gonna come up I definitely don't think I'm going to be a size 14 because I was in a size 12 pair of jeans before I'd lost weight. So I think I've probably done the wrong thing here, but I can bring them back. But I absolutely love them. They've got this embroidery design on them, which I really, really loved, and some little rips. And they're high-waisted, which if you're a mum, is perfect. They do look really big for what I need. But I'm not sure. They might fit. They might be perfect. Um, I'm sure we'll see when I try them on and see what they look like. But I absolutely love those. And for... £12, I thought they were really reasonable and they look really, really cute and they'll look good on holiday with like a blouse or something like that. So I'm really excited to try those on too. And then the last thing I got that is clothing related is just a really basic top. I stupidly, I just have got a habit of this. Since I've been pregnant with Perka, I have got gotten into a habit of just overbuying in terms of oversizing myself and just sizing up as if I'm still pregnant. So I went a couple of weeks ago to Primark, actually it was more of a couple of months ago, and I bought a t-shirt and I was bigger than what I am now and it was just a, a basic top and I bought a size 16 and it's massive for me and it gapes off the shoulders and it's not tight fitting and I wanted it for underneath um, like pinafore dresses and dungarees and things like that. So I literally just went back into Primark and picked up another black one and this one is in a size 12 so hopefully that one will fit me a bit better i don't want it to be too tight i was oohing and ahhing between this and a 10 because i like my tops to be quite snug fitting when they are under stuff but hopefully the size 12 will be fine and that will fit me perfectly but we'll see okay so that's one bag empty so moving on all the rest of the stuff is beauty and home decor related so i'm really excited to show you this so the first thing that i picked up were these absolutely stunning unicorn style makeup brushes they were nine pounds there's four brushes and there's like a little pouch in them and it comes with an angled blusher brush a foundation brush an eyeshadow brush and an eyeliner brush i've never used primark actually i think i have once i used one of the rounded head foundation applicator brushes but i've never used their actual powdery type brushes i'm normally real techniques but being a mum, the money you can spend on makeup brushes slowly plummets. Um, so I'm going to try them and they looked so pretty more than anything else. So I'm really, really excited to try those. Then I picked up this brush. This was £2 and it's a fan highlighter brush. And again, I just figured this would be perfect for my highlighter. I wanted some more brushes. I just seem to be using the same ones at the moment and I need some more. What else did I pick up? <clears throat> I picked up another foundation concealer brush this was 50 pence and considering my dressing room is like rose gold and stuff like that i figured this would be perfect 50 pence you can't go wrong and then i also picked up these eyelash curlers they're just basic they were a pound and they're in like this pinky rose gold shade which i absolutely love and i needed some more eyelash curlers oh and then this brush and i picked all of these brushes up before i picked up the set I love this. It was in like a pinky shade and it's a liquid foundation brush. Again, it was two pounds, but I thought I've never tried their brushes before. I don't see how they can go too wrong unless they become really multi and the bristles fall out. So I'm hoping that doesn't happen. But for two pounds, again, I thought I'd give that a try and if anything, it'll look pretty. So I'm definitely going to try those. And then moving on, all the rest of the stuff that I have is home decor stuff. So the first thing that I got wasn't for me, it was for Parker's bedroom. And if you watch my Poundland haul, you would know that I've recently picked up a much larger one of these for Clayton's room. Clayton's room is just grey and white, but Parker's is grey, white and mint. And so I picked up this, it was £3 and it's a lot smaller than the one from Poundland. Um, but again, it's just a little light like this and it's a little cloud light and Parker's room is very similar in theme and colour And I thought this would look completely adorable on his shelf. So I picked up that for Parker And then now we're moving on to I'm in the process of redesigning my dressing room Which I'm really excited about because I haven't really showed you guys my dressing room and I haven't finished it and I've been swapping and changing and it's now going to be a dressing room slash study so the first thing that i picked up was this it was five pounds 
And actually the first thing that I picked up isn't for my dressing room, although I did pick it up with my dressing room in mind because I figured if I used it in there it would look perfect. However, the first thing that I picked up was a dual USB data sink and charge cable. Again, it's in rose gold. It was five pounds. And the reason why I picked this up is Clayton has started using his tablet a lot more and we do a lot of long family trips down to see family who live about four hours away. We do those trips quite frequently and his tablet will then run out of charge. And I figured that if I have one of these, we can literally just swap the head and it's all attached and we haven't got to bring multiple wires in the car. So I figured that would be really good for there. And then I absolutely love this next item. It is a wire frame light. It was five pounds and oh my goodness, look how stunning this is. I'm gonna get it out so you can see, but I am so excited to put this in my dressing room. Oh, and the rain has started. It was sunny. I was hoping it was gonna be sunny, but it's not. Um, How gorgeous does this look? I cannot wait to use it. But, oh my god, it's just stunning. I absolutely love it. I'm so excited to have this in my dressing room. I think it's going to look absolutely stunning on my dressing room near my study. And so, love that. And for £5, I mean, the fact that Primark have rose gold stuff in is completely on trend. Um, I love it. I really, really do like it. So, really excited to put that up. Then again, the next item I have seen everywhere. Initially, I wanted a silver one for downstairs in my kitchen, but now I have scrapped that idea and I'm putting this one. It's the rose gold one, which I saw months and months and months ago. And I have finally picked it up and it's one of the A4 letter balls. It includes 292 letters and it looks like this. And again, it's just in rose gold. It's a letter board. It was six pounds. And it's basically like all of the they're called like the letter light up box thing where you used to put words on and prints and sayings and stuff but i've got it in the letter board again it's going to look fab in my study and if you've watched my channel you'll know that i've lost all the little letters for my light up box i don't know what i've done with them so now my box is left on sunday and that's not a good look so um, i picked up this and for six pounds again i thought this would look perfect in my study so i'm really excited to put that up and now I'm down to my last two items. And again, if you know me well, you will know that candles are my life. I have them pretty much in every area of my home. I have three candles in this room at the moment, not including the ones that I'm about to show you. Um, so the next thing I'm gonna show you are candles and they are these ones. Now I picked these up, I picked up two of them. I picked up one in this color here, which is like a pinky and rose gold shade. And then one in the white and rose gold color as well, which I absolutely love. The white one is number 17 Madagascan Vanilla and it's vanilla and patchouli. And if any of you know me, you will know that this candle behind me which doesn't even look as though it's a light, but it is. Um, it's tobacco and patchouli. It's a paddy wax candle and it smells absolutely amazing. But this one is just as good. Honestly, I'm really hoping that this smells good because I recently picked up the Primark diffuser in marble and as much as it looked good, it's not, it doesn't smell very well. I normally have this issue and if diffusers don't smell that much, it does annoy me because that's the point of them, but it looked good. So we've got that aspect, but I'm really hoping this smells nice so I can burn this one. And then this is number 43 Vintage Blossom and it's a lily and honeysuckle and they're both meant to have up to six hours worth of burn time on 60 hours. And this one smells really good as well. It's that more of a floral scent, which I absolutely love. More than anything, I thought they would look lovely as decorative pieces in my home. Um, and mainly in my office and dressing room. But yeah, they were five pounds each. So they're quite large candles. They weigh quite a bit. And for five pounds, I thought they were quite good buys. So I'm really, really excited to show you how I'm styling up all these pieces because as you will know, I've actually bought quite a few pieces recently for my dressing room and my study. And I cannot wait to show you a room tour, which will definitely be coming up in the next few weeks when I finally get my husband to help me paint the room. Um, but yeah, if you guys want to see that, do keep your eyes peeled. So guys, that is everything that I got in my Primark haul. As I mentioned, there will be a room tour coming up soon with all of these items in for my home decor pieces. Hopefully all the clothing bits fit me nicely and I won't have to return them, although I have a feeling I'm gonna have to. Um, but yeah, I really, really loved all the items that I got. So I hope you guys did too. If you did like this video and you wanna see more hauls from me, then please don't forget to like this video so I know, of course. And also comment below to let me know if there are any other videos that you would like to see me do, any other places you'd like me to do hauls from because I am just out shopping everywhere at the moment. I did rein myself in for a few months, but now it seems to be that I've just kind of gone a little bit crazy and I'm buying lots more house stuff again and clothing and 
hitting the bank balance hard. But guys, if you did like this video, like I said, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you all again very shortly for another video soon. Bye, guys.